Game number two, Bet Online, Twins and Yankees, the playing game tonight, 5 o'clock Pacific. Severino against Santana, Yankees 240, seven and a half the total. We've been telling you all year on Sports Bit how good Severino is. 14 and six with a 298, no flukes in the numbers. 10.7 strikeouts per nine, and the ground ball rate of 50.6, and only 2.4 walks per nine. How many pitches were over 10 strikeouts per nine, and the ground ball rate at 50, and the under two and a half walks per nine? Only him and Jimmy Nelson. Nelson was 12 and six with a 3.49, and he throws gas as well, 97 miles per hour. Twins would tie the all-time record with a loss. They've lost 12 straight playoff games. Boston has the record with 13. The Yankees are 12-2 and all-time against the Twins in the playoffs as well. Not a lot to like there, and this is a bullpen mismatch. Oh, my God. If this is tight late, huge edge to the Yankees as we'll get to some of those numbers coming up with this bullpen. But uh, how do you feel about Severino, and how do you feel about Santana? Well, I mean, Severino's a guy that we started talking about here on Sportsbit in April. And, you know, we don't give ourselves too much credit, but we deserve a pat on our back for talking about Severino early. We said this guy's got all the stuff to be an ace. And, uh, obviously, when you're talking about the advanced metric numbers, that strikeout per nine inning ratio, the ground ball rate, the walk per nine inning ratios, we're talking about a pitcher who has truly put up elite numbers all year you look at the average velocity and we're talking about the single hardest thrower in all of baseball so he throws hard he throws strikes he throws strikes down in the zone he's clearly a bet on guy it's a minnesota team that made betters a bunch of money as road underdogs over the first half of the season if you looked at the twins down the stretch they were great every time they played the tigers <laughs> you know who had quit on their campaign uh they did not make money for their backers in september in this road underdog role and of course urban santana you know uh he it was some of it was good pitching we're talking about a guy who's 16 and 8 3.28 but all the advanced metrics numbers say eh, not so fast my friend the fielding and pitching 4.46 the xfip of 4.77 so how did he not get lit up when eh, not lit up but why is his era a run and a half higher than his xfip real simple babip batting average on balls in play in 2017, Lance Lynn, number one, Irwin Santana, number two. So he was on the lucky side. When opponents hit the ball, they hit the ball right at somebody when they were facing Irwin Santana. I don't know that Yankee Stadium in particular is a particularly good venue for Santana. The fly balls that he allows might go over the short porch at Yankee Stadium. That could be a problem Do for not. Minnesota even before they get to the bullpen. Do not throw Judge a fastball, making a big mistake. You guys are locked in, throw him the breaking stuff away, see if he'll chase. Here's the bullpen edge, my God. Throw, look at this graphic. ERA, Yankees bullpen third, Twins 22nd. FIP, Yankees second, Twins 23rd. War number one, Minnesota 22. Although I think we're getting a little bit carried away with this Yankee bullpen. But Tances doesn't know where the ball's going. Chapman was demoted. And do you trust Canely in a big spot as well? But any event, those are the strong stats. We know the Twins' bullpen stinks as well. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now, we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.